Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you a build that I did with the random word challenge generator. Um, I don't know how to call it. I just took a word generator and um, let it give me three words and I used those three, three words for the kids bedrooms. Um, so basically um, in this video I'm just going to um, do like the rest of the house um, and in another video I'm going to show you how I furnished the um, three kids bedrooms or teenage big bedrooms. The words were atmosphere, attitude and also appearance and uh, yeah next time I'm going to um, explain how I use those words to um, as the inspiration basically for um, the teenage um, and kids uh, bedrooms. Um, spoiler alert, um, one of them is a little bit inspired by um, uh, Mean Girls, um, kind of, but not not really, but a little bit. Um, and uh, I think um, you can guess which of the words um, fits there. Um, that it wasn't very like original or creative or anything, um, but I thought that um, it fit well. Um, so that was the inspiration a little bit at least. Um, but yeah, in this video I'm just going to show you um, the rest of the house, how I built it. Um, and as you can see, um, I already have the layout done and now I'm placing windows. And I really wanted to have uh, symmetry um, from like top to bottom and um, yeah, also from side to side. Um, basically the whole house is um, like, um, if you divide it, divide it in the middle, if you look from the side, it's basically a mirror image. Um, not from the front, um, it isn't that, but from the side. If you um, divide it there, um, it is kind of under it and um, quite like it has like, like quite symmetrical shapes it's not really a, a mirror image from the front or anything but um, it isn't like really a lot of random con uh, corners or anything like that um, which I thought looked quite interesting um, sometimes it's really interesting if it's a lot of random con uh, corners and so on but I think it's not really realistic and in this case it, I even think that it's still interesting um, to have um, to have it like that so um, yeah um, it not it doesn't ha it always have to be like crazy um, to um, to be interesting um, of course sometimes it's really fun to have it a little bit like crazy but in this case I thought it still looked uh, fine like that. Um, what I also did was, like, of course, the landscaping, and I thought that made it more interesting as well. Uh, I also had those dormers up top. Um, they're like fake. Um, it's not even like um, any usable space or anything. Um, but I put them there because it does make it more interesting. Um, so yeah, that I had that going. Um, as well. Um, from the side here it looked a little, a little bit strange because the roof was so um, like large so I put those round windows down so it's a little bit more like um, filled up that space and also now I'm um, trying to fix the window situation um, as well um, on the sides so it um, has the same windows um, on the top and on the bottom and because I put a wall there to divide the kitchen dining area and the living area I couldn't put down the window in the middle that I had up top so uh, yeah that was an issue as well um, in the end um, the whole like living and dining area kitchen um, situation. I uh, divided it a little bit with walls but it's still quite an open concept so there's no doors um, there um, but I think with that um, it's still like separate spaces so I could for example put down um, a wood floor um, in the living room and in the kitchen and dining room I had um, that like black um, flooring um, tiling I think um, it looks like tiling at, at least and um, that made a lot of sense at least in the kitchen so um, yeah I put that down there and I also really like that color um, I think it looks really clean 
um, and simple kind of and I liked it there. Um, I also really liked that wood swatch. I don't use it all that often because it's really bright and sometimes it makes the room look a little bit washed out um, because it's like so light um, but in this case I really wanted to use it and I think with the combination of the like beigey countertops and also with the green walls I think it works. Um, in the bathroom um, that I did just now, um, the one um, more to the back of the lot, I already put a sneak peek for the children. I put down three bathrooms and each of the bathroom uh, bathrobes uh, represents one of the teenagers or kids that I have in the um, second floor um, with those three words as the inspiration. Um, and yeah, uh, I think it's quite clear that the pink one is for appearance and I decided that the black one would be for the attitude um, child and um, the red one I put down for the atmosphere prompt basically um, but um, in the next video um, I'm going to put it up on Sunday so you don't have to wait all that long um, I'm going to explain the reasoning behind um, the color choices and uh, everything else um, a little bit in more detail but there is a little bit of a sneak peek um, and the reason why I put that down is because downstairs is the bathroom for the children because um, upstairs there wasn't any space um, for that and uh, I really wanted to bring down that personality um, into the bathroom as well at least a little bit like a tiny amount and yeah now I'm finishing up with uh, some more um, kitchen clutter and like just stuff um, to put down. Um, I th yeah, the downstairs is basically done. I still need to decorate, of course, but um, like the furniture is down and the main pieces basically. Um, but of course, it still looks a little bit bare. Um, so yeah, I needed to put down some more stuff as well, um, especially in like the dining area, entrance area, um, because there's a lot of doors and stairs, but not a lot of other stuff. Um, and yeah, that was um, like the main part. I spiced it up a little bit with uh, deeper green as well. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!